Scripting for the Web, WS300, Platt College. Numbers and Booleans. So let's talk a little bit about numbers. Unlike a number of other programming languages, JavaScript does not define different types of numbers. Java, for example, has integers and they have double and they have float and they have a number of different ways of defining numbers. ActionScript, for example, had unsigned integer as a data type, but JavaScript doesn't distinguish between the different kinds of numbers. JavaScript numbers are always stored as what's referred to as double precision floating point numbers following the international IEE 754 standard. What this means is that there is going to be a maximum value available to a number just because there's only so much data that it can hold. The biggest worry that you should have is whether or not your number is an actual number or a string. HTML values from inputs are almost always string data types. If we really want to know what type of data something is, we can always test it. Type of allows you to find out what kind of an item something is. Type of is a little less specific than constructor. I like using constructor as a means for testing a data type, and I'll talk about that again in a moment. Here we have some examples. If I do type of and I put my string in front, or if it's a variable and it happens to be a string, it's going to tell me it's a string. If it's a number, it will return number. If it's a Boolean or true false, it'll return a Boolean. If it's an array, it'll say object. It won't say array, it'll say object. Same thing with JavaScript object notation. This is why I very much like using the constructor to find out what it is. So this is a constructor property, which lets you find out what type of data a particular variable is in a more detailed way than type of. A string returns string. So number returns number. Boolean returns Boolean. An array returns an array. It would return object, a specific type of object like an HTML div, for example, it's going to return HTML div. It's going to tell you I'm a div. It's going to tell you if it's a paragraph. It's going to tell you if it's an image. That's really useful. Have I gotten the right element? If I have, then I can take that element and do what I need to do with it. If I haven't, then I have to kind of go back to the drawing board and figure out how do I find that right element. But that's the key. You're not going to be able to apply a new attribute to an element if that attribute doesn't exist on that element and you'll get an error message. The constructor in this case is very, very useful. Fun fact, not a number. It's represented by a capital N, small a, capital N, not a number. Here's the fun thing. NAN is a numeric data type that says what you've asked me to do is not a number. Is NAN checks to see if the value inside the parentheses is a number, kind of like a double negative. Now, is this not a number? Is 55 not a number? Well, 55 is a number, therefore nan is nan as a function is going to return false. Same thing with 55 in a string. While it's a string data type, it's still in a numerical format. So it's going to read that and go, yep, yeah, this is right for number conversion. It's a number. We're good here. But if you put in like 55b, it's going to know b is not a number. Therefore, it's going to return in the positive. Is this not a number? Yes, it's not a number. Like I said, this is why type of and the constructor property can be better ways of finding out what kind of data we're working with. JavaScript uses what's called loose data typing or also known as dynamic typing. You can change the value and type of data by reassigning the value of the variable. You really need to be careful when assigning values to your variables. Just be aware, some languages have strict typing. And so what that means is once you've declared a variable, a string, for example, only string data will fit in that variable. Unless you do something specific, what's called casting. We'll talk about casting in a minute. There is a means for that in JavaScript. Concatenation versus addition operator. So the plus symbol, JavaScript favors what's called concatenation over additions. JavaScript will go, oh, you want to add these two items together? Cool. Well, this is a string and this is a number, so I'm just going to put them together. That's going to be one string, 55. That's annoying, but it's something to be 
aware of. JavaScript will always see a minus symbol as a minus unless it is in a string. So for example, if you're writing a style property to an HTML element, then you need to put it in single quotes like background dash color, or you can remove the dash and put a capital C make it camel case. That way you don't need the quotes. But that minus will always be seen as a minus. It goes, hey, this word color is a variable. I'm going to try to subtract the value of color from the value of background. And that just doesn't work. The way is shown on the slide here work, but it's probably better to use the two string method when converting to a string. And it is probably better to multiply by one or use parse float or parse int methods rather than encasing the string to be converted into a number in a number object constructor. We want to keep our flat data flat and not give it any extra overhead if it can be avoided. Number properties seem more like the math class properties, but they do give you the limits of the number object. I mentioned before that other language have multiple numeric data types, and that is so that the program knows how much memory to allocate to that data. JavaScript does not have this, so we need to know its maximum limits. So this is why you need to use the number object rather than a piece of numerical data to reference these properties. The max value of a number like 7 is 7 rather than the maximum value a number object can hold. This is why number properties only belong to JavaScript's number object wrapper called number. Number methods. Here you see we have some number methods listed. As I mentioned earlier, you can encase a numerical formatted piece of data into a number object wrapper. But if we want to follow best practices, we don't want to do that. Parse float is a good method as well as parse int. Just be aware that float includes decimals and int will cut off any decimals, producing whole numbers, i.e. integers. And it won't even do the polite thing and round to the nearest number. To fixed works nicely to format values to a specific set of decimal places, but this method will convert a number to a string. So you can't add the number you just fixed until you convert it back to a number. The math object. Here we have some examples of methods used on the math object. While we have a whole day dedicated to math and its functions, it seemed appropriate to mention it alongside the number data type. The arguments passed to a math object must be a valid number data type. Strings will not work, not even number formatted strings. See, it's important to know the data type you are working with for this very reason. In this example, we have a variable n, which has a value of 200.6. Math.round takes it to the nearest whole number. Math.floor rounds down to the nearest whole number. And math.seal does the same, only in the opposite direction, to the next whole number up. The math object allows you to perform a wide array of mathematical tasks. I thought to mention Booleans here because Booleans are a bit mathy, and so it kind of works. Booleans can have only one of two values, true or false. These are sometimes also one for true and zero for false. Anything that has a real value is considered true, and anything that does not is considered false. This is why one or any number other than zero works as a true value, and zero is false. Other false values are an empty string, negative zero, undefined, null, and nan, or not a number. Boolean methods. Two string and value of are methods that can be used on Booleans. These two methods can be used on any data type in JavaScript. They both return the value of the Boolean results. Two string converts its data type to a string as well. 